Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines. Good morning, everyone. This is Coffee and he what? This is Coffee and Headlines, our morning get together live here on Facebook, where we exchange headlines from our city, our state, and our country, where we take a look at your comments, your suggestions, your ideas on how to have an awesome life here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English speaking locals. Surprise, I've been upgraded to business class. I now am wearing a contraption. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'll have you know that I was looking for clarity yesterday because I needed to go see a doctor and I wanted to know what the hell had happened to my shoulder and I got the clarity that I needed. I did fracture my shoulder and I am wearing this sexy harness ah, that must remain in place for a month. So I want to ask you a truly, truly important question and no answer will offend. You see, in the process of being slightly crippled, I'm learning all kinds of insights and things. But yesterday, I found myself talking about the intricate delicacies of trying to go to the bathroom with one hand, if you know what I mean. And I thought to myself, well, maybe people don't want to hear about this stuff. So here we go. I am activating a poll to find out how much you want to know. Because um, the good news is that, you know, I have friends with whom I can share my burdens. Um, and maybe you want to hear about my insights. Maybe you don't. So if all is good, uh, there should be a poll on your screen that asks how much do you want to know? Please let me know. And, um, and let me know if you want to know the details or if you want to not know the details. I see the poll on your screen, so we'll come back and take a look at your answers. If you don't want to hear the details, I'll understand perfectly. I won't hold it against you. If you want to hear the details, uh, then I'll be happy to share um, the details at the end of the broadcast. I see some of you are having problems with Wi-Fi. I think... Um, I think things are here, are okay here. So I'll, I hope that whoever is having problems with Wi-Fi will um, be able to resolve them. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted today because um, I'm just getting used to this adventure. Um, anyhow, I'll tell you more about the adventure later on. And um, for starters, we are going to go through our usual order of things, which is if you are new to the broadcast, please let us know by writing the word new. Uh, that way we can uh, give you a nice welcome. And if you have something truly important to say, uh, please do so, but add a letter Q, a capital Q at the beginning. And that way we'll know that it's not that you're having a nice conversation among yourselves um, and that I will address what, what you're asking. So, we have, um, um, I see many of you are voting for details. Uh-oh, you may regret that. Um, Gary wants to know, am I a righty or a lefty? I am a righty, which is a good thing. I can scratch myself and I can do all kinds of things with my hand. But I'll tell you all about that stuff in a second. I see we have a new person, Steve Richer. Welcome, Steve, to Coffee and Headlines. It's great to see you. Uh, and um, what else do we have? Well, we have all kinds of fun comments that we'll read at the end. As usual, we'll go through our news. We have news about safety. We have news about the bridge on Insurgentes. It seems like all the all the, the protesting from the vendors had some kind of result. We have news from Nayarit and these crazy ideas of changing names of cities. And we have, oh my God, we have a commentary about the complicated relationship between church and state in Mexico. How embarrassing when the high priests and archbishops are busted interfering with political campaigns, but that happens a lot. I'll tell you what went on. I have a question from a reader that I thought was really endearing, and I have, oh my God, the most unexpected person in the world singing I Feel Pretty, and I think you should enjoy it too. But first, let's take things in order, and we'll take it from there. Uh, let me see if I can... Uh, summon your poll and see how everybody is, um, 
how everybody, oh, everybody, want, oh, good, thank you. Well, I'm sorry for the 17% that think it's too much information. What I'll do is I'll tell you my insights at the end of the broadcast so that I don't have to burden you, and it's fine. It's no big whoop. I'm happy to share with whomever wishes to hear. Okay, enough of that. Let's take a look at the news. Okay, so after a year of missing out, Puerto Vallarta is back on the list of the six safest cities in the country and the second safest tourist destination. This is according to Mexico's National Institute of Statistics and Geography, or INEGI, after they completed their latest poll from last month, which included 75 urban areas in the entire country. Um, I don't have much to add to this, but it's good that the perception is that our city is safe. Yesterday, we reported on some vendors uh, complaining about the final design of the new bridge over Insurgentes Street. Uh, we mentioned that the, the designers had initially said that there would be tunnels to go under the bridge from one side of the island to the next um, at the beginning. And now we learned that they're planning on using ramps and you'll be expected to cross Insurgentes Street the way we've always done it. This angered some um, vendors and the vendors protested. And now we learn that uh, the good thing is that the, the director of municipal public works has responded to the complaints and apparently they may be able to modify the plan so that people can explore the island by going under the new bridge while they're walking. Of course, this is not as easy as you'd think. Uh, for starters, the bridge construction is under um, state jurisdiction, not under municipal jurisdiction. So we have to abide by whatever the state authorities uh, consider is best in this particular situation. Um, but the overall good news is that construction, um, the pace of the construction seems to be very fast and and they may actually be able to finish the darn thing in February. Um, hopefully that'll be the case. It'll be fun to go photograph it once it's finished. And once I'm done with my uh, arm upgrade and I am able to go out and take photographs again. I also wanted to tell you that the proposed changes in names of cities in the state of Nayarit continue to make different communities roll their eyes. In case you're not... Um, up to speed on this one, the governor of Nayarit has come out and said, well, you know, we don't want to depend on, on Puerto Vallarta or Jalisco for um, successful tourism. So we want to change the name of Punta de Mita to Punta Nayarit. And we want to change the name of Nuevo Vallarta to Nuevo Nayarit. This, of course, has a lot of communities and business groups and promoters and marketing experts rolling their eyes, thinking, why on earth are we doing this? Um, and now things get even more interesting because we learn that the governor of our neighbor state is pretending to modernize the state's airport such that visitors and tourists hoping to spend recreational time in Riviera Nayarit would be able to land in Tepic and not in Puerto Vallarta. Um, I cannot even begin to imagine the logistic of that because it's a longer trip, not to mention the fact that Wholesalers travel, wholesalers have been used to working with the airport in Puerto Vallarta, our international airport, um, for, for decades. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen with that. And we'll keep an eye. It's kind of interesting to read. And uh, this next one is purely, is here only for context, for historical context about our country, not for any other reason. The relationship that Mexico's church and state have had has been uh, unhealthy since the Spaniards arrived in Mexico because they tried to change everything from the multi-deity modality that the Aztecs live with. You know, they immediately tried to change everything. And, uh, and many of our modern cultural and religious traditions are really a mixture of both. But um, the division of church and state is very clearly specified in our Constitution. But that did not seem to stop Cardinal Juan Sandoval Iñiguez and Archbishop Carlos Aguiar from interfering in um, by proselyt proselyt proselytizing. I hope that's a word in English. By they, they recorded television spots or radio spots. I don't even know what kind of spots they were. But they recorded spots during the electoral process of June 2021. 
in which they were trying to persuade people to vote for a certain political party and not the other. You're probably wondering, well, I am wondering, do, do, does, do archbishops and cardinals in other countries do this? In Mexico, it's really a complicated matter. The long story of this is that the secretary of government is going to end up fining these two individuals for sticking their religion where they shouldn't have. And, um, and the only reason why I wanted to share that is for you to be able to appreciate how the relationship with, between church and state is complicated. I think we have reached the weather. Yes, we have. Let's take a look at the weather just to see what we can expect in the next three days. Okay, something must be going on north of the border because our weather says where we're going, we don't need a Voting Rights Act. Oh, dear. I don't know what that is about, but what I do know is that our temperature right now is 26 degrees. It feels like 26. Oh, my God, humidity is at 27 percent that is so low it's heavenly still my my injured arm is all schwitzy and it's probably because i'm wearing this chingadera uh for those of you that get along with fahrenheit the temperature is 78 degrees our weather forecast for today is mostly cloudy through the day with a high temperature of 27 low temperature of 19. tomorrow friday we can expect a clear day with a high temperature of 29 low temperature of 20. And on Saturday, we can expect possible light rain overnight with a high temperature of 29 and a low temperature of 19. And that would be our weather forecast. See, I can do this with one hand. Who says I cannot? Now, of course, I need to continue with a wonderful uh, message that I received that I don't have a good answer for, but I was totally endeared by. Um, a viewer by the name of Dana wrote me and said, hola, hola, <laughs> hola, Paco. So glad you are better now. We followed your guidance to Mirador de la Cruz and really enjoyed the view. We noticed the locks on the bars and wondered if lovers lock them as a ritual, each holding a key to the binding relationship. How romantic. And if the lock is opened, the relationship will end. Ha <laughs> ha. We thought it would make a nice replacement for a ring. Well, Dana, first of all, thank you so much for reaching out. I thought it was really endearing, and you totally made my day and made me laugh, as painful as it is. When you ask the question, because you say you wonder why, but then you came up with such a well-constructed um, and elaborated theory of the reason, it's, like, it's almost like the question is a moot point. Honestly, I don't know why the locks are there. I do know that there is a structure on uh, Francisco Medina Asensio in the hotel zone where people have been in the habit of putting locks in. And I also know that there is a very famous bridge in Paris where there are so many locks that they had to remove the, the fencing because it became too heavy. So I have actually no idea why there are locks up in the, in the Mirador de la Cruz, but I'm so very glad that you connected with the Mirador, every time anybody connects with anything that we recommend here, you make my day. Uh, if anybody else has a good theory about why this is going on, please let us know, uh, because I'm curious about that. Why do people do the locks and how complicated to have to go back and remove your lock once you end your relationship? I actually don't know what the locks are doing there, but um, it was cute. It was great to read. Um, what else do I have? Oh, this is just a rumor because I haven't been able to, to, um, to verify this from a good source, but the rumor comes from Raymond, our own Raymond, uh, who wrote to me yesterday and he says to me that just one block away, this is one block away from my house. Pay attention folks in Versailles because you're gonna wanna know this. One block away from my house on Francisco Villa, there is a sign that says Whiskey Kitchen coming soon i mean do you know what that's going to do to my waistline if we have a whiskey kitchen in the vicinity i actually sent a little note to gina hendrix who is the 
the high priestess of all Southern food and hoping to get some confirmation of this. And I tell you, if, um, if, if this is true, I'm just going to be in seventh heaven because I'll be able to walk to Siam cuisine and I'll be able to walk to whiskey kitchen. Oh my God, those iced teas, not iced teas, those, um, sangrias. I mean, that's going to be, oh my goodness, that's going to be absolutely to die for. And, uh, the last thing that I want to share with you, um, of all things, this has absolutely nothing to do with anything, but I can take anything that'll cheer me up. And this time around, I came across this cute little video of Bill Murray singing I Feel Pretty in Washington Square Park. Why? Well, he's promoting a movie. But um, yes, that is Bill Murray singing I Feel Pretty. I don't even know that I can play this. Let me play two seconds because I know that I won't get chastised for that. See the pretty girl in that mirror there? Who can that attractive girl be? Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I'll leave you... Uh, the rest of that in the show notes so that you can take a look at Bill Murray singing I Feel Pretty because that's exactly how I feel right now. And uh, before we get into my own personal injury insights, which I'll do at the end, I am going to uh, take a look at your comments and see what everybody's up to. Thank you all for being here, 127 of you. Thank you to our friends in YouTube that don't get to comment live, but we appreciate your thumbs up. Really, we really, really do. Um, I love your good mornings, as always, especially now. They, they really make a difference. And... Um, Let's see, what do we have? <laughs> oh, Karen, look at the sexy sling. It ain't sexy, but you know what? It makes me feel very safe because it keeps my arm without moving. So um, I, feel, I feel safe wearing it. It's a pain in the ass to sleep on it, but I feel safe. Claude asks, anything broken? The answer is yes, my shoulder is fractured unfortunately the good news is that it'll heal on its own but i must wear this brace all the time for the next month uh let's see what else we have um Francie Ann Riley, hello from new live viewer have watched you from afar and now we are just up the road in sayulita so excited Welcome to the cluster, Francie. I hope you find answers to your questions here. We don't talk about Sayulita very frequently, but we love it up there to the extent that we can get up there. Um, and, uh, and I'm sure that a lot of information that we share about Puerto Vallarta will be useful to you. So keep enjoying the broadcast. Thank you for being part of the cluster. And don't hesitate to ask any important questions or unimportant questions. We're happy to share and we're happy to learn from one another. Um, <clears throat> let's see, do, 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 Kathy, ah, hi, Kathy, then had double carpal tunnel surgery and had both hands with pressure dressings. And I told him that the worst part wasn't going to be the bathroom stuff, but hating having to be fed. And I was right. Well, you know, last night I spent, did I put that on the screen? I think I did. Um, Last night, I spent a considerable amount of time trying to get fall asleep because I kept making mental notes of places near my home that serve food to go in containers because clearly I'm not going to be very good at washing my own dishes in the next few weeks. So I might as well be eating from disposable containers that will hopefully be biodegradable. I can feed myself, but this whole business of washing ditch dishes, not so simple. Let's see. Sean says, I have to go while wearing a bobby brace. I f apologize for not knowing exactly what a bobby brace is, but I, I empathize just having to go with any kind of brace. Ah, oh, Lordy. Um, let's see. There's another new person, Trisha Bushnell. Bushnell. Welcome. Welcome, Trisha. Uh, to the general hospital. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see what else we have. Uh, I broke my hand in May, setting up for a party for 30 people, friends to the rescue. I'm a lefty, and it was the left that, that was broken. I am so sorry to hear that, Paula. 
just tie your dominant hand behind your back and see how much you can do with the other. Well, my next mission is going to be making sure that I can remove this chingadera by myself and put him back on and put it back on. So what I'm going to do is go to my favorite consultants, Den and Kathy, who live two blocks down the street. And I'm going to go to them and I'm going to try to take this off and put it back on in their company so that if I fail, they will have, they will hopefully do the honors of strapping me, me, strapping me again, and we'll all play bondage games and have a fabulous time. Um, let's see what else. Lots of welcomes to the new friends. That's wonderful. Um, I'm sorry to hear that some of you are having problems with the sound. I don't, um, I don't know where those are coming from because I think the sound is fine at my end. Do, 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 do. Terry says, elastic waist pants work better than zipper and buttons. Oh, do I have an anecdote for you? Uh, let's see what else. Oh, wonderful. Eric tells us the joint co-working hotel will reopen February 1st after a brief hiatus. Congratulations. As we know, co -work, joint co-working hotel is the building that was damaged right in Insurgentes Street when the bridge collapsed. I'm very happy to learn that you are reopening, and I look forward to being able to come and visit once I look a little bit less sexy. Um, let's see what else we have. Okay, a number of you are having problems with the broadcast. I'll make sure to listen to this broadcast at the end um, so that uh, I can troubleshoot if I'm able to. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Question from John. Paco, did you hear what the most watched video is on YouTube? It's my favorite video. Uh, yes, I read, and I'm not even going to say the name, because if I say the name, you'll start thinking about it, and you'll start singing it, and you'll start blaming me, and that's okay. Michal, you are the first person that I thought of when I read about Whiskey Kitchen, because I know that I've been wanting to take you there. Uh, oh, my God. Can you imagine we're going to have to crawl home after all those sangrias? Uh, again, Lisa, it's a rumor, but it comes from, I mean, if they have a sign on the fucking door, it's gotta be, it's gotta be for real. Uh, again, I haven't heard confirmation, but I am going to be in seventh heaven. Mark tells us that they have love locks in Paris and Budapest and Vienna and Prague that I have seen in Amsterdam. I think they're all over. They're all over uh, in many cities. Okay. There you go. Um, have I heard anything about the military presence in the marina? Lori, I have not heard anything specific. Uh, that means I have not seen any headlines about this. Uh, oh, Lori says, love you, Paco. And I say, love you, Lori. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, thank you, Raymond. I needed that. Raymond says there are locks in the Panama Canal, too. Well, of course there are. Um, let's see what else. Sorry, National Guard on Gaviota Street. The Ministry of National Defense is here. Well, maybe they're having some kind of meeting and they're protecting some important people. That may be the reason. Uh, Janet says we had so many helicopters in the morning. All I can think of is, um, is um, you know, there's got to be a meeting going on or something. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I need to hire a cute personal dresser. Uh, Colleen, I'm not ready to, I'm, I'm going one step at a time, one day at a time, but yes, some things are going to get really ugly after a few days around here. And I know the good news is I know that I have friends that I can call upon. Uh, da, 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 da. Kathy's back. I can fix it if you mess it up. And I have a few other tips and ideas that might make things a little easier for you. Thank you, Kathy. It's much appreciated. Um, woof. I get emotional. Just a little bit. This is a challenge, but we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Um, ba, 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 ba. hate to see anyone disabled. Hope you feel better soon. I have coffee. 
I have wine, I have pozole, I have friends. It's all good. It's all good. It really is. Let's see. Um, woo. Paco, I'm so glad you didn't tear your rotator cuff and needed surgery. I didn't even know I had a rotator cuff. Maybe I too, and I just didn't know that. But I'm glad I didn't break one of those either. No knitting for a month. Yes, I know the struggle is real. No crochet for me. No crochet for a month. Uh, Vallarta Tribune says the Marines are looking for a big fish in gaviotas. Good for them. Um, Paula suggests I rerun some of the old walking shows. Um, I, we can certainly do that. I just want to make sure that we do whatever we can to keep you entertained. And speaking of keeping you entertained, I have a new, since you voted yes, and this is kind of silly to be doing when I am weeping. Okay. I have a new section. This is called Paco's Invalid Insights. And do I have a boom boom? Yes. So I'm learning. I'm learning things that I never knew I would be learning. Let me set this up so that I can tell you what I've learned in the last day or two. Number one, your computer can take dictation if you treat her nicely. That's right. Yesterday, I taught myself how to dictate to my computer. It's a little, it's a little bit cumbersome, but it can be done. So, um, you know, yesterday before I was trying to type with both hands, but if the doctor says I shouldn't move my left hand, I won't move it. That's number one. Number two, opening a bottle of wine with one hand is easier than you think. Absolutely. I use one of these, you know, you can see it. Yes, you can. It took forever. But um, it involved my head <laughs> and I was able to open my bottle of wine. I will not demonstrate because um, because I think you'll have fun just imagining it. Uh, number three, the belt goes in the pants first. Oh, yes. Don't spend half an hour trying to put your shorts on only to realize that the belt has to go in the pants before you put the pants on because you're never going to get your belt around your waist with one hand. Um, it was, it was, um, it almost made me late to the hospital. And this last one, sometimes it pays to trust the shady signs. And this is an actually, this is a longer story, but you'll appreciate it. I hope. Oh dear, now I'm dropping things. Okay, so so I went to this clinic on Francisco Villa and I chose um, I chose this particular clinic because the doctor has his own machine to do the x-ray. And I figured, okay, if, if a doctor sends me to get an x-ray, um, I don't have to go somewhere else. So I get the x-ray and I get the results and the doctor says to me, well, you need your upgrade. You need this brace. And I'm like, okay, where can I find it? And he says, there's a door, there's a store right down the street. And I get to the store and the store is closed. It's right on Francisco Villa and it has a shady sign on that says we've moved just to some address 109 down the street, very near it says, but it's a handwritten sign. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, fuck, I'm tired. I am cranky. I'm frustrated. I am trying to walk with an x-ray in one hand and an able hand in the other. And now I'm expected to go into a shady street to look for a shady medical supply business to find a brace and and, you know, God must be looking after me because I was standing at this corner with like, oh, just not knowing what to do. And it so happened that my dear, dear, dear friend Catherine and her boyfriend were driving by. They just happened to be driving by. God, thank you for watching after me. And they confirmed that indeed there is a, a, a business a, a supply, a, a medical supply business around the corner. And... Uh, 
And yes, it looked shady because it was out of a home, but apparently this is where all the hospitals buy their chingaderas from. And uh, I was able to walk in there and uh, and get my, my brace. So, you know, we live in a strange city. We live in a strange country um, where we don't have official signs like other countries do. But this is part of the charm of Mexico. This is part of the way we do things. And it, it resonates in a way, if I may, with some of the things that we were talking about yesterday. You have to come live here to embrace the way it is. And, uh, and it pays to be uh, a risk taker to an extent. And it pays to have faith. And it pays to invest and trust in your surroundings. And that's all I'm going to say because I'm getting a little emotional and you don't need to see that we'll be okay in a few days i'll see you soon